starboard bow here. Here I am. I know you, you could find me. Down here in uh, Flagstaff, Arizona. And I picked up this uh, item I've seen around. This Thermocell Mosquito Repellent. And I'm going to go ahead and review it. Open it up, box it up, see what's going on, and let's see if uh, it's something. I, mean, can you, I don't know if you can see me. There you go. And we'll see what's going on with it. I'll uh, unbox it, like I said, go through it, turn it on tonight while I'm sitting here. It's supposed to be mosquitoes running around down here. And then um, I'll update you tomorrow after I set it up and turn it on and see what happens. Let's uh, let's get going here. Thermocell mosquito repellent. Let's put a little more light here. Let's see if we can go. Boom! More light. Boom. Okay. Patience is a virtue, Peter. Boom. Unbox this baby here. Uh, my comments on the last thing that I did, I did a review on, they said, well, you should unbox it and then, uh, you know, already so that when you videotape it, you know what you're doing. Well, that's good. When you guys do that, you can go ahead and do it. I like to open it up right here with everybody present just to show them the different things that uh, I run into, that you're going to run into, and hopefully uh, you'll fix it. Uh, it's a little thermocell mosquito repellent guide. I mean, stuff should be pretty clear and pretty uh, self-explanatory. But you know us men, we love instructions. Boom. Oh, no, we don't. Okay. These are the thermocell repellent pads that go into the, looks like here, the repellent little cage. Because uh, this Thermocell Mosquito Repellent, uh, it's not a spray kind. It's without spray. It's scent-free. Uh, it's, it's supposed to be cover a 15 by 15 zone mosquito repellent. And each one of these pads lasts about 12 hours. So let's, like I said, let's keep moving, getting this thing out, and see what happens. Boom. All righty. And this is a bell clip. So that if you're ever going for a walk, you can put it on the back of a, I mean, on your belt. And then... You know, it will uh, keep the mosquitoes away. 15 by 15, that's pretty. Uh, that's a pretty good uh, area. This is a battery. I'm assuming battery, uh, thermocell mosquito repellent. It's the MR450 repeller. MR450, can you see that? Okay. And these are, oh, this is the little, these are the canisters that go up into that you screw up into the the thermocell and it ignites it so that when you're when you turn on the, the thermocell thing i'll go over that with it at the same time when you screw this up into the thermocell it, it ignites it so when you turn it on it sprays up uh, it doesn't spray but the fume the, the liquid will come up and it will soak these little pads here and that's how you get the and the heat from the repellent, from the, the device itself, will, uh, will thwart off any uh, nasty old uh, mosquitoes. Oh, we hate mosquitoes, don't we? Oh, boy. I hate mosquitoes. Man, what do you know? It came out. All right. We need to get a screwdriver right here, two little screws, so that we can take this off, and I'm assuming the battery will slide right into that. So let's, uh, first of all, let's just go over this real quick here. Um, how does it work? Heat activated, matte releases repellent into the air, creating a 15 by 15 mosquito protection zone. That's what I assumed it did, makes sense. Pretty, uh, pretty uh, uh, self uh, explanation here. It contains one mosquito repeller with bell clip. Here's the bell clip. Here's the repeller itself. It uh, three mosquito mosquito repellent mats. Here you go. One, two, three. Uno, dos, tres. And a dio, tria. And then one butane cartridge. Each cartridge lasts a maximum of 
12 hours. So, ladies and gentlemen, with this thermocell, obviously we're going to have to buy some more of these butane cartridges, which is normal with any uh, device or anything like this. You need it. Uh, one thing good about this one, this is the thermocell 450. There is another thermocell that's about $10 cheaper. This one cost me about $26. The one which is $10 cheaper doesn't have a battery and doesn't have a light that tells you when it's on and off. So, oh, wow. Oh, well, what can you do with a drunken sailor, right? All right, let's, uh, let's continue on. I'm going to do is I'm going to get a screwdriver so that I can unscrew these tiny, two tiny little holes here. And we can take this battery and insert it. Okay, I'm right. back. Let's hopefully uh, this Phillips works. Uh, I don't know. It looks like it might be working. Hey, look at that. It's working. The screw is coming out from the device. The screw is coming out. People on my last review, they were making fun of me. So this review, you can make fun of me too. Just put it in the comments. Oh boy, this one looks like it's kind of stuck in there. I hope not. There we go. Ha! I got it. The screw is coming out. Okay. I watch a lot of videos on the thing, and one of my uh, favorite channels is a uh, guy that reviews things. And he always says, this is satisfying when you're unscrewing stuff or pulling tape off something. <laughs> well, let's see how satisfying this is. Oh, here we go. Now, when you take off this cover, <clears throat> you got to pull the cover off. And then there's a little white plastic thing here that you pull out. You got to get a screwdriver or something to pull it out. See, guys? Look at this. See how it comes out? Look. Boom. Make sure that when you put it back in, you have it in the right direction on these things here. When you when you get this battery out, it's got a little this plastic device here. I don't know if you could see it. It has a little little uh, plus sign. See the little plus sign in there? That means you take the plus sign of the battery. Can you see a little plus sign? And you put the plus sign down like that, okay? And then you take the, the plastic battery holder right here, which I have, and push it, hold this thing up so you don't drop the battery, obviously. And you slide this baby right back in there. Boom. And you put the cover back on. This thing's very simple to use, and I've had nothing but good reviews about it from other people. So let's... uh. Give it a shot, shot. Give it a chance. They didn't. They didn't send this to me. I paid for it. Would have been nice to get it though. <laughs> but uh, it's you know any time that you can clean up mosquitoes, I'm in. I hate mosquitoes. I don't go places like Florida or other locations because of mosquitoes, and for some reason. Mosquitoes love Peter, and uh, Peter does not love mosquitoes. So when I saw this device on the internet on uh, YouTube, a lot of people, like I said, were very happy with it. But you know me, or you know you. Let's uh, make it uh, our own. Uh, my, you know, we'll 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 decide on that. All right, here's a little bell clip. See the little bell clip here? And then you got the two little slots right there. Very self-explanatory. Slide that baby right there. You know what? It probably would have been easier to put this bell clip on with uh, when it was off. Nope, there he goes. Slid right on. Boom. See? Take your little bell clip and you put it right here. And there it is. Look at that. Huh? Nice little device. You're going for a walk out there. Get your little thermocell. Next thing you know, boom. You're in like Flint. 
Okay, let's figure it out. So this little piece right here, it says here, remove before first use. Okay, so you pull this out. There's a little cardboard piece that's just sitting in there. Boom. This thermosel, the little package right here. Don't be safe. Don't don't do what I do. Do what the instructions say to do. I'm making that clear right now. Don't do what Pete says to do. Do what the instructions tell you to do. I'm just giving you a review of it on me doing it. And like I said, men love constru love instructions on how to do things. No, they don't. Well, sorry, some men do. And there's the little package. See the little package? See that little package right there? Um, I'm assuming it doesn't have any different sides. So it's just like a piece of wafer, soft little sponge that you'd buy in a store that before you soak the sponge, it was hard. But when you put the sponge in the water, it would expand. That's what this feels like. So you pull that little sucker out of here, sucker out of here, and then slide the sucker back in. See, very simple, boom, it's in. Um, I put the battery in there. What do we got here? Oh boy. This is a, uh, is this, oh, okay, duh. That's a little hole right there. I thought that was a C battery, <laughs> idiot dummy. This is actually where you take the butane canister insert the butane see that little clip in the back there this top clip right here when you screw it in when you screw that in all the way and you circle it you're going to ignite it that means you're going to turn it on but thankfully there's an on and off switch right here that when you turn this thing on it starts exuding or <laughs> don't you love the little words that i make up exuding <laughs> you know what i'm talking about it releases the butane the heat from the device and then it soaks up, and then the butane itself lights up, and then it makes heats up the pad, and then the pad it lets the fumes out that kill the mosquitoes. Um, my recommendation is what I what did, what did Pete say? What did I say? Read the instructions. Don't do what Pete says. Wow! I just turned it off. Wait, can you hear this? Turn it off. It's off. And then you put the clip back on again. Boom. It looks like everything's in. Wow. That's, that was pretty good. Thermocell Mosquito Repellent. MR450 Repeller. Here's the box. Here's the instructions. Here's how it works. See that? Heat activates the mat, releases repellent into the air, creating a 15 by 15 mosquito protection zone. 100% satisfaction guaranteed. Thermocell makes this great repellent products that protect people from mosquitoes. If the thermocell does not perform to your satisfaction, you may return it to us. Do you hear that? Return it to us. Don't return it to me. Return it to Walmart or wherever you buy it from. And uh, replace or refund. And look, it's good for camping, fishing, hunting, and DIY. Do it yourself. So I don't do too much of those other than maybe the camping. I do a little bit of fishing and do it yourself. Uh, I try to have others do it for me. Not because I don't know how to do it, but because that's what they do for a living. And it's important to support people that do stuff for a living. So here we go. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and later today when I need this, I'm going to turn this switch on right here. This light right here, this zone check is going to tell me that it's, it's igniting the butane. And the zone check is going to let me know that it's in check, meaning it's taking care of Pete from, Pete from getting all these dumb mosquitoes so i think it's a pretty cool little device it's pretty simple to set up i mean it's not very big it's not heavy whatsoever and you got a belt clip you can just throw it right on the side of your belt i'm assuming you what did pete say read the instructions chief says to read the instructions 
Remember, the chief says to read the instructions. Keep away out of reach of children. See box for additional first aid precautions. Read the instruct. Don't do as I do. Do as the instructions tell you to do. So I'm going to go ahead and check this out later. And I'll let you know if I run into any mosquitoes and they want to stick around for something to eat or if they get caught up in this before that, we'll see what happens. I'll get back to you. Bye. I want to go over a couple other things that I missed when I was getting this thing set up. So listen up. Put down uh, your beer, your coffee, and listen up real quick. It says here, allow 10 to 30 minutes, depending upon the size of the area, for the product to take effect. This product works best in the outdoor area where there is a minimal air movement, such as yards and outdoor campsites. Minimal air movement meaning because obviously it's ex it's letting out some repellent and so if it's too much it's too windy it's going to blow the repellent away and won't cover you. Um, Earth Scent Max Life Thermocell Refill Mats. These little blue mats right here that you're putting in. It says here that I think I told you 12 hours, but it says uh, the mats Max Thermocell Refill Mats are effective. For mosquito repellent devices provide a maximum of four hours per mat mats turn what happens is they turn white when the mat is completely used it goes from blue turns pale blue to white when mosquito repellent has been used up some visible vapor will appear during use this is normal use additional mosquito repellents repellers to cover a larger area uh, altitude above 7,000 feet can affect, ooh, interesting. I think I'm above 7,000 feet here in, uh, Flagstaff. Oh, well, we'll see what happens. As I turn um, on the thermocell, see the little hot, little red lights underneath it? That means that the butane's lit. All you have to do is hit this little start button right here. It's a little dark out right now, but you get this little start button and then this light will come on when it's starting to cover the 12 but you can see the red lights inside that means that it's lit so leave this out here and see how uh, this lights up and keeps the bugs from coming in Fifteen by fifteen area. You can hear it, and you can see the red light lit in there. And we'll test it out, and I'll let you little, know a little bit more about it later. See how it does. I'm going to sit out here. I'm going to put it on my little belt buckle right there. Me and the thermosel are going to sit out here and try and kill me some, some mosquitoes. I've been sitting out here for probably half an hour. And uh, no bugs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn this thing off. And I'm going to see if uh, any mosquitoes show up. And I'll let you know, but uh, so far so good. Nothing, you know, I got the lights up on here to see if there's any bugs flying around the lights. You, you don't see any, right? No bugs whatsoever. I don't see any bugs around the light whatsoever. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it off in a little bit and then uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, get back to you. Starboard bow. Let's go outside and see how the thermosel worked. I uh, turned it off, and uh, I'm going to walk around with it a little bit, had it on, and uh, had no uh, no bugs around me whatsoever, so let's see what happens out here. Guys, here's the test. It works. There's bugs flying all over the place on these lights now. Turn the thermocell off. Hmm. Very interesting. Well, don't take, just take my uh, advice, but I would get one if I was you guys.
try it out and uh, see what you can do. The thermosaw works out pretty cool. Bye.